Hey you, you see this gimp right here? I'm gonna show you how to get from this to this. So here's everything we'll need to get started. You're gonna need a small screwdriver with a little um, jeweler's tip on it, uh, a larger flat tip one, some car window tinting at 5%, a sheet of plexiglass or acrylic um, that's 0 0.8 inches thick, obviously your S10 gas mask, and then also to cut this, we're going to be using a Dremel with the cutting tool on it. So let's get to work. So first we need to pop the lenses off our old one. We're gonna first use our big screwdriver. We can get it in over here and really easily get this wedged in between the lens and the actual gas mask itself. And then it'll pop out an outer ring like that. So then we can pop this out, it's this little casing here. So there's our lens. Now we're going to need to get the jeweler's screwdriver and there's a ring around here. And so we're gonna have to get it pressed in there. And then we can separate the ring from the inner lens. Just like that. And so now we can pop out the lens and use this as our pattern for our new acrylic ones. So now that we have our lenses out, we just need to quickly make a little pattern. So I'm just gonna take a Sharpie and draw a little circle around where we're gonna cut out our new one. And there's another one. Cool, really easy. Cool, all right, so now we're about to cut these out. So first, I'm gonna cut a box around them so it's easier to get to the lenses, and then we'll cut them out individually. One wheel down. One wheel down. Alright, so now our piece is all nice and cut. We can just deburr it and test it out to make sure it fits properly in the lens casing. Let's see. Uh, you know, it's a little big. We're gonna have to do some adjustments around here. Perfect. There we go. All right, so now that we have our lenses done, we're going to be applying the car window tinting to them. So what we're going to need is a small little bit of water and a few drops of soap. This is just so that we can get rid of any air bubbles. We're also going to use this little rubber um, squeegee. You can also use a credit card, but this works a little better. That's just gonna help squeegee out any of the water separating between the two. And then afterwards, we're gonna use an X-Acto knife to just cut a circle around it and cut any of the excess tinting off. So let's separate the film and get to it. All right, so now that our lenses are done, we have to put them back in the gas mask. So first, you're gonna take this big outer ring, we're gonna slip it in right there. And then we got the center ring, and that just snaps in around that. There we go, so now we have our housing in place, and so then we can 
get that into the gas mask. And now I found the best way to snap on this outer ring is putting the gas mask on your knee. Camera guy, follow me. go. Alright, one lens done. And that's how you black out an S10 gas mask. Smile, Gimp.